Market. Scott Crothers and Stephen Nicholas. Good morning, Scott Crothers from, from Stephen Nicholas. <laughs> Good morning, McGraw. Uh, how do we finish up on Friday? Well, way back on Friday, the Dow was down 100 points and closed to 23,359 on concerns about tax reform. Uh, this was the second weekly loss for the Dow. The first time uh, since August, the Dow has been down two weeks in a row. Uh, the yield on the 10-year U.S. Treasury fell at 2.35 percent. Hmm. All right, let's get to some uh, company news, and let's uh, start off with uh, Marvel Technologies. What's that? Yeah, uh, Marvel Technologies is the maker of semiconductors for data storage, and they are buying fellow chip maker Cavium for $6 billion. Cavium makes chips for communications and networks. The deal is for half stock and half cash. The combined company will be able to compete better with Intel and Broadcom. Mm-hmm. Interesting. All right. Uh, retailers are looking at a new way to uh, get into our pockets this holiday season? <laughs> they are. Some retailers are trying new ways to compete with, uh, you know, Amazon, you know, over Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Some are offering discounts early to attract shoppers. Some are offering items not found online. And some are offering their most loyal customers prices below what the retailer even paid. Uh, I guess there's one thing. The iPhone 8 and 8 Plus seem to be big draws, with some retailers offering $200, $250, and $300 gift certificates, you know, with the new purchase. And, you know, that's, uh, I guess, the Best Buy, Target, and Walmart are doing that. Yeah. I went to uh, Kohl's yesterday and bought some uh, Christmas ornaments that were 50% off. And I thought to myself, how are you going to make any money if you're discounting it 50% off before we've even reached Thanksgiving? Right, if you're doing that before Christmas, so you're right. giving it away now right. to get you in the door, you know? Yeah, that's an interesting – That's we'll see how that technique works for him. Um, and then AAA is saying that this will be a busy travel season. Yes, it is. With the strong economy, it looks uh, to be a really busy travel season. AAA estimates 51 million travelers over Thanksgiving, uh, up 12% from last year. About 46 million will drive over 50 miles. In Missouri, they're going to pay about two thirty-five a gallon. Uh, for the five million air travelers, they should see the lowest airfares in five years, but they'll pay more for their rental cars. They say. So. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, good news for enterprise. All right. Markets. <laughs> markets today, Scott Crothers. How they look? Yeah. T- today, the Dow looks off twenty points. It's a light day and a slow week. Uh, the market will be open all day on Wednesday. Closed on Thursday and a half a day on Friday, so it's going to be a very short week. Yeah. All right, uh, Scott, we appreciate your insights. Look forward to it all week, and uh, talk to you tomorrow.